so I haven't posted this video yet, um, even though I'm filming it on the same day I published um, my, you know, long overdue update. Because this embryo transfer is a surprise. Um, I think we have, I've told my boss and I've told one friend, I think we're going to tell our home group and that's it. I'm not telling my family or friends that we have done this embryo or sorry, mostly our family, uh, and quite a large number of our friends that we haven't done this embryo transfer. We're telling everyone that we're doing it in May, but we're actually doing it in April. <laughs> um, <laughs> I feel it's been so long since we kept an embryo transfer a secret, um, but it feels kind of good. It feels really good to keep it a secret. So today is Monday the... 25th of April and I am on cycle day 22 um, and I surged on cycle day 18 which was the 21st of April. This time round because of all the kerfuffle of the four failed transfers and because I kicked up a stink they have put me on progesterone. Sorry again I'm looking down because I'm looking at notes that I have made to make sure I cover up all my bases. Um, so in case you're wondering what progesterone looks like, they are these little, I don't know if my camera will, will focus, no, not going to do it, they're these little, oh, oh, no, they look like little pearls, <laughs> um, they're like little balls, little um, pearl balls, and you take two, three times a day, so somehow I must have used one from another card as well, um, so you're using six a day, it's quite a lot, uh, and you can either take them vaginally or um, rectally. I am doing them vaginally because, you know, yeah, uh, out of the two options, that's the whole I'm prepared to stick my finger up three times a day. Uh, <laughs> that must have been a bit too much FYI. I apologize. So... I had started these um, the day after I surged, so I started them cycle day 19. They gave me enough for 20 days, so I'm assuming um, they will give me some more, either at the embryo transfer or if it's confirmed that I am pregnant. Because if I do get pregnant, then I have to take them for the first nine weeks of pregnancy as well. So, um, how I've been feeling on the progesterone... I mean, it's not that hard to take it three times a day. It's it's actually been kind of a relief to have something to do. Um, because when you're in the two-week wait and when you're, you know, waiting for the transfer and everything, it's really time-consuming how uh, you spend so much time thinking about uh, the process and you don't have anything to do. You don't, you're not physically adding anything to the journey. Um... So like when you're doing your injections and stuff, you feel like you're making a step forward into becoming a mum. And I, I'm finding the progesterone kind of helpful to give me something to do to feel like I'm doing something towards this instead of just waiting and waiting and waiting. So my embryo transfer is tomorrow. It is our last day five embryo, if I, under, if I can do math correctly. We've done four failed transfers but they used five embryos because one of them didn't survive the freezing process and we had six at day five and five at day three so now i don't know what happens if this embryo doesn't survive the freezing process do then they just defrost a day three and put it in there and hope that two days is enough or do i have to wait till next month I don't know. We'll find out tomorrow, I guess. Um, my transfer is at 11 a.m. And as per normal procedures, I have to go pee at 10 a.m., drink 600 mils of water or three glasses, and then hold that so that because I need you to have a full bladder um, so they can see, you know, everything. So that's where I'm up to. To be honest, I'm having really mixed feelings of excitement and nervousness. I'm, I was on leave last week and I'm on leave this week and I have to say I'm so stoked that I'm doing this while I'm on leave because work has been really busy and crazy and it's just nice to know that I'm going to have a few days of being at home and enjoying just 
you know, spending some of the two week wait doing things that I like, like lying in bed and reading and that kind of thing. So I think that's all I have to share with you for now, but um, you will see this later, I guess. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs>